So today we're here at Brig Garden Centre. We're going to be trying out the Chinese buffet. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get inside and have a look. Finally get to sit down and have a quick flick through his menu before going up and having the Chinese buffet. Um, the prices seem really fair on the drinks. Was it uh, for a filtered coffee, two pound eighty-five for a regular, which yeah, standard prices. The Chinese is thirteen ninety-nine for an adult and eight ninety-nine for children. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get up there and enjoy the Chinese. I'll show what there is. They have got a wide range of cold drinks as well. There is quite a lot there. And also some really nice cakes. Let's check them out. Got oh, a ginger cake there, vanilla Victorian cake. Even these things here, which are really nice, these lemon and blueberry meringues. Might get one of them later. Uh, mint chocolate shards there, lemon meringue. Them strawberry things over there look really nice as well. As well as the Chinese on the menu today, there is actually a carvery as well. Which is $11.99 for the large, $10.99 for the regular, and $8.99 for a small. We have a nut, uh, nut roast there, Daniel. Um, for $10.99. So I've just sat down after ordering the food. It's come to £50.37p. That's for two carveries, two luxury hot chocolates, a black coffee for me, and two waters. So, just gotta wait another five minutes before we can go up and get our food. So just coming out of the cafe, the staff was really, really friendly and they couldn't help you enough there. But unfortunately, the buffet was, it was a little bit like jarred food. Um, it wasn't great at all. Um, the presentation though was probably a seven out of 10. The food was around about a three out of 10. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend the food for, well, the Chinese food, but the other food that was coming out from um, what the staff was bringing out looked really, really nice. The carvery did look fantastic though. Um, so yeah, I would probably highly recommend that or ordering off the menu, but on, on the Friday, Saturdays, which is normally the Chinese buffet, I wouldn't bother with it. But what did you think about Amber? Um... Yeah, the presentation looks really good, but tastes and things like that, not so great. Um, but just one of them things, isn't it? But, yeah. At least you tried it. Tried it. I wouldn't recommend it, unfortunately. But the car the carvers they do look great, and the food that's coming out the kitchen all looks really nice. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was just gonna ask Danny what he thinks of it as well. Uh, the cavalry, not cavalry, the Chinese banquet, uh, the, it was nice, but the, fla the flavour wasn't that. Um, for the amount you pay, there's so much better place you can go to. Um, Probably wings. <laughs> yes, wings. <laughs> so yeah, you just, yeah. if you want to know where that is, that's in Hull. Uh, so it's literally just going over the bridge. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, the, the staff are really friendly. I, yeah. I, I give them that. 
but yeah, I def if you want to eat here, I definitely recommend go go have the car break. Oh, grab a sandwich. Then like Dolly did earlier on. Yeah, she had yeah, the she had the tuna and chips, didn't she? And they, it did look really nice. The coleslaw on that looks really nice. Well, it tasted really nice as well. I was a little bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So we've had a really fantastic time here at Brig Garden Centre and this guy behind me looks really, really happy as well. The food, like I said, wasn't great, but hey-ho, you can always try somewhere else next time. That's a big monkey. Okay? I'd like to wrap up this video with a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all soon. Bye.